Now we're going to go to Florida and Rick Scott. She has been by my side since my first year in office, and she built a great campaign team, and they worked day and night. So Jackie and the entire team, thank you. I also want to thank Brad Pippenbrink. Brad's my chief of staff. Not sure where he is. But Brad's my chief of staff, and he has done a great job. I want to thank my entire team in the governor's office, all of our agency heads. They have done a great job making this a place where everybody wants to live. There are a lot of people that helped in this race. A lot of people. I want to thank President Trump uh, for all of his hard work. I want to thank Vice President Pence. I, I, want, I, want, I want to thank former President George W. Bush to help us. I want to thank former Governor Jeb Bush. There's a lot of people that came down to make sure we got the vote out. I want to thank Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator Cory Gardner. I want to thank everybody from Puerto Rico that came to help. I want to thank Congresswoman Jennifer Gonzalez Colon. I want to thank the Lieutenant Governor Luis Rivera Marine. I want to thank Senator Marco Rubio for all this. and my Lieutenant Governor, Carlos Lopez Quintero. Lo más importante en esta campaña ha sido el trabajo de todos nuestros donantes, voluntarios y colaboradores. Lo que tenemos hoy es el testimonio de su compromiso para hacer de nuestro estado el mejor lugar para todas las familias en nuestro estado. There's going to be... You know, there's going to be a lot of pundits who are going to analyze this race. Uh, there's a lot of people who are going to pour over all those inaccurate polls. <laughs> but I have no interest in looking backwards. I'm going to look to the future. And we, are going, we have a bright future in front of us. Base. Based on a lot of people's hard work, our national economy is growing, our wages are up, and every country would love to have the economy of the USA. We are the envy of the world, and Florida is the envy of the United States. When you see all the success, it's shocking to see that people actually suggesting we embrace socialism. Socialism, socialism will not happen in our nation, and, and it's not going to happen under my watch. I, I didn't go to Tallahassee eight years ago to be everybody's friend. I'm not going to D.C. to win a popularity contest. I'm going to D.C. to get something done. I put out a 10-point plan that I believe in. I know the press corps in Florida decided not to read it or spend any time on it. <laughs> we all know that change is never popular, especially when you're talking about how you're going to change government. But I brought a business perspective to Tallahassee eight years ago, and I tried to use every effort I could to change the direction of the state of Florida, and together we did. <laughs> Together, we reinvented state government in Florida, and we're going to do the same thing in D.C. The federal government is frustrating. It's outdated. It's wasteful, and it's inefficient. All of us in state government have dealt with the federal government over the last eight years, and we could tell you story after story after story. 
Now, I'm just one, one individual, but there's a lot of other individuals in D.C. that want to do the same thing. And I'm going to work with them, and we will change, like we did in Florida, the direction of Washington, D.C. Yeah. We didn't accept government incompetence in Tallahassee, and we're not going to accept it in D.C. I will not accept it as your new U.S. Senator. Now, four weeks ago, we had a horrible hurricane that hit our state, Hurricane Michael. 14 foot of storm surge, 140, 150 mile an hour winds, unbelievable devastation. But you know what I saw with it? Is people came together. People from all over this country came down here to help us. People didn't say, are you a Republican? Are you a Democrat? No, they said, do you need water? Do you need food? Do you need a tarp? What can I do to help you? Do you need a generator? And they did. From all over the state, now, all over this country, people came together. We can do the exact same thing in Washington. We all want this to be a better place for each of our families. We can make change. We did it over the last eight years in Tallahassee. We can do it in Washington, D.C. America first. Yep. I'm never going to give up on this country. I was blessed to live in the family I did uh, growing up, and I will never give up. God bless every one of you. God bless our great country. Let's get to work.